Hello guys, we will begin our tutorial today by understanding how a GET request works in Swagger. So let us understand first what exactly is Swagger. Swagger is a tool which provides a sandbox environment to study the APIs and their behavior. Swagger is a framework for describing the API by using a common language that is easy to read and understand. You can think of it as a blueprint for a house. You can use whatever building materials you like, but you can't step outside the parameters of the blueprint. So having a simple understanding of what Swagger is, let us look at how this Swagger tool works. Let us first navigate to bookstore API Swagger document. The URL is mentioned on the slide here. Let us launch it in the browser. So here we are on a Swagger API documentation. It consists of two endpoints group, account and bookstore. For this tutorial, we will try out the get request for get books list. It is located under the bookstore endpoint store. Let's begin by clicking on get to expand it. Click try it out. Click execute button, which will display us the results. Scrolling down, we see that we got a 200 status code along with the response body. The response body contains a list of books that are available at the bookstore. It explains that a request was successfully sent over the server. As you can see, we received a list of books from the server. It is in JSON format. If we look just above the response section, we have the curl command included as part of the documentation. The curl is independent of the programming language. It consists of request header information. Additionally, it displays the request method, which is get in our case. Just below it, we have the request URL. It consists of the base URI path appended with the books endpoint. Moving down, we see a response header section. It consists of headers received from the server with response. Content type, care set, date, server, status, they all have been listed here. Thus, we realized that Swagger's implementation is simple and quite useful. It provides an interactive experience to send a request and receive a response for the APIs. To summarize, as software professionals, we need to understand the underpinnings on which great software is built. One of the many means is to try and test them over in various ways. Swagger is one of the tools which helps us to do that.